information leading to the burglar's arrest. A local military veteran is a man on a mission. He's giving back this holiday season as if he hasn't given enough with the assistance of some special helpers, sending their thanks to our nation's military service members overseas. Stuff, all right. From the hands of these second graders. I have some mints, some hand warmers, and all kinds of stuff. Comforts of home are heading to military service members worldwide. I giving people stuff that makes me happy and it makes them happy. And the leader mobilizing these tiny troops, Vietnam veteran Richard Honan. Did you put some hot chocolate in? Oh, get over there. Make sure you go around to all the different tables. After serving his country during war, Honan remembers what it was like to be hundreds of miles away from home during the holidays and hopes to send a little cheer in the lives of those serving today. It means a lot to me. In every one of these packages, uh, I put a smile on their face, a smile on their heart, and a smile on their stomach. The students also wrote letters. Thank you for protecting us. You are so brave. I love what you are doing for us. You are my hero. Your friend, Giuliani. I love hockey. Do you? Thank you for serving. You are the best in the world. From Dominic. The soldier's duty for his comrades. When they open this package, it's Christmas. And his objective with these second graders. Well, I want them to know how important it is to remember our men and women that are serving far from home. Tonight, mission accomplished. Makes the kids feel great, too. So throughout the 12 years, Honan has been teaming with the students to make these packages. He says they've sent 15 tons worth of care packages and thousands of handwritten letters to soldiers across the globe. And that's from Afghanistan to Africa to Japan, all while putting smiles on the faces of those who sacrifice so much for us. Taking a look at